everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on an editing software, it's called A Power Soft Video Editor. They actually contacted me to do this video, so thank you so much A Power Soft for sponsoring this video, um, but all the opinions will be totally my own, this is going to be an honest review. Um, so yeah, I didn't really have any experience with this program, I've already kind of looked through it, um, but yeah, uh, this is going to be my impression on this editing software, I'm going to take you guys with me, give a little tour and uh, tell you guys my opinion, so let's just get started. This is what the editing software looks like. Um, I read the description and already looked kind of through it and it seems like it's a very easy um, to use editing software so it's great for beginners I would say as you can see I already imported my clips over here and here you can see a preview and this is the editing panel so let's take a look uh, here at the left side as you can see you can add um, a ton of different text options there are a bunch of ones you can use however these are not really my style I would say um, these kind of text options they look a kind of old-fashioned or um, childish I guess it's not really the style of text options that I would use I would look like more professional modern looking ones um, but they are fun so that also depends on what kind of videos you want to create and then here you can see there are a bunch of choices for filters as well um, you can add snowflakes, you can rotate your video, all kind of fun effects and you can change the colors of your videos as well. So those are fun to experiment with, with and to create just fun videos, add some nice effects. You can add overlays, um, but these are as well in the same style as the text option, so not really my style, I guess. Um, the only one I would probably really use um, are these two so you can have the record screen but the other ones are just not really something for the type of videos that I make and then there are a ton of transitions options those look very good and yeah there are a ton of options as you can see so that's great so those are all the things over here um, now let's take a look at the editing panel I'm going to um, drag my imported files to the editing panel so as you can see there are different layers in the editing panel over here is a video layer so you can add all your clips and then here you can add an image overlay, you can add text and you can add audio files. So for example, music or your own sound effects, which you've downloaded online. Um, so I'm going to start with editing um, some of these clips. Let's take a look over here. Um, these are the basic editing stuff you can use. You can undo things, you can redo and this is where you can um, edit a specific clip so you can change the speed of the video and uh, so you can add slow motion or you can accelerate the video you can rotate it mirror it you can change the contrast saturation brightness hue the only thing that i'm kind of missing uh, over here is that you can't change the temperature and its own so you can't really color correct the video of course you can change the saturation and the hue but it's quite limited for color correction i think and then it's the audio you can just change the volume and you can fade in uh fade in or fade out so that's for um the editing of the clip um so when you want to split a video in uh, multiple clips then you can use this button which is for splitting obviously um, and then you can for example delete that part um, so yeah that's quite easy of course and straightforward you can also crop your video so let's use this clip um, if you want to leave out this part you can just change the dimensions of the clip by dragging this and then as you can see this part is cut out so you can crop your video you can also add a zoom in effect so for example you want to zoom in on this and let's add that and now 
I'm going to play this. And as you can see, it is zooming in. So that's for that. And then as well, you can add mosaic. So that's kind of for blurring videos. Um, yeah, this is not a really good representative um, clip, but whether, for example, you have something here which you want to kind of blur out. This is the result if you use the mosaic tool and you can change that as well. So that's quite handy. And then here, set duration, and this is for exporting your video. So that's all quite clear, really easy to use, nothing wrong with that. And then you can add an image overlay and, and let's just use some of these options. So for example, I'm going to be adding text so I think I just have to drag that to the editing panel. Oh yeah, so yeah. And you could probably change that, of course. How do I change this? Oh, so you can just change your text. Oh, there are different text, op text styles here as well, which is quite handy because I like that. To add some shadow, you can choose your font, you can change the size, colors, a ton of different options which I think is very nice if you want to customize the text so that's for the text now let's add a filter um, the disco lights look quite fun just dragging that to the editing panel and if I play this yeah as you can see the filter is added to that clip and then there's the same for overlay she can just drag that to the editing panel and it will appear on your clip. So that looks very um, happy. <laughs> and, and you can add some transitions between your clips. I'm trying that. I know where it's over there. Okay, let's add another one. That's a nice transition. So that's for the transitions. So yeah. That's actually what you can kind of do with this adding software. Of course, you can also add an image overlay and you can add your music, but that's quite straightforward, of course. There are a few things that I'm actually missing in this editing software. Uh, you can't add video overlays, so you can't have two uh, videos at the same time um, playing, which is something which I think is quite important. So. And that's a kind of disadvantage. You can also not add green screens, which is also something I would like to be able to add. You also can't stabilize your video, which is always quite handy if you have shaky clips and you can't really, like I already told you, you can't really color correct your videos. So there are a few disadvantages, but it really uh, depends on what kind of videos you would like to create and whether you are a beginner. Because if you're a beginner and you just want to create fun videos, then I think that this video software is very handy because you can add all kind of different uh, pre-made text options, filters, overlays and transitions, which is super handy if you don't have a lot of experience, don't really know how to work with. Um, an editing software, then this is very straightforward and easy to use. But if you want to create more professional videos, then I would not really suggest this editing software because you can't add green screens and all this kind of stuff. You're kind of limited uh, on some points. I actually already ended this video, but I discovered something which I would like to let you know. So of course there are these menus here, media, text, filters, overlays and transitions. But if you drag this down, voila, there is also this option with elements. So you can also add more, a bunch of more elements. Um, there are a lot of different ones, for example, flower rain, and you've got this fun effect on your video, um, a cartoon, cartoon effect. And as you can see, there are a bunch of more choices as well. So I wanted to share that as well, um, that you can add, elements to your videos besides text, filters, overlays and transitions on your media. So yeah, that's my conclusion to this editing software. If you're interested in a power soft, then make sure to check out the links in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed to watch this video and you found it helpful and to see you all next time in a new video. Bye.